my YouTube friend. It's Omega Epic. Clean up my office time. <laughs> In today's video, we're going to go through a lot of boxes of smaller lots I've bought, one eBay lot, some stuff I've traded for, a few items left over from previous Mega Hauls that I forgot to put in the videos, and just a whole bunch of random pops that are all over my office, because I'm trying to clean up the office so that I can do a big full collection tour video by the end of the month. So I'm going to catch up on the rest of the stuff I have to unbox and the rest of the videos I got to do, and then hopefully I can get the collection tour done by the end of the month. So let's dig into all these random pops. Okay, so during the winter, I had one guy trade in the complete Metallica set. So that was pretty cool. I really like collecting the Pop Rocks line. I would like to get all of them, but a lot of the earlier ones are kind of expensive. But for now, you know, I'm getting a couple here and there. So we have James Hetfield. We have Lars. We have Robert. And we have Kirk. Very cool. So I was actually happy to trade those in. I forget. I think I gave him like seven fifty each store credit and he traded for some records or some music or something like that. No, I'm 100% sure because it was months ago and I completely forgot. <laughs> okay, next we have, let's see. Okay, next we had two pops that someone traded in also in the winter time. I was really excited. It was Moss Man. He said he actually bought a second one by mistake so he just traded it. i believe i gave him actually a full ten dollar store credit because i really wanted that pop and he just took another pop and he also traded in the black friday box predator from last black friday's mystery box so that's cool that one's a duplicate so i'll be selling that one and that one i forget i think i gave him like 750 store credit something like that but still that's cool i was actually really excited to get that one when he brought it in i think it was pretty new when he traded it in Okay, next we have three pops someone traded in a few months ago. I think I gave them $5 a piece, maybe $4 because the boxes were a little bit damaged. So we have Beast from Beauty and the Beast. We have Belle from Beauty and the Beast, which are cool. Uh, those are very cool. I'm keeping both of those. And we have uh, Alex DeLarge from Clockwork Orange. That one I have, so I will be selling that one. But uh, it's still a cool pop. Definitely one that will sell pretty quickly. <laughs> like I said, there's just a lot of random pops I want to get through that have been like all over my office, kind of a chaotic mess. So it's time to organize and get everything put away. So next on, uh, let's see, in April, when I went to Infinity War, before Infinity War, I went to Barnes & Noble to see what they had. And I got two pops that I really, really wanted. So I got the Pink Lion Cat from Saga. Really excited to pick that up. I, I think I just need a couple more of the Saga pops. I love Saga. It's a great comic book. I was really happy to get these pops. So I got that one. And they still had the Prince Robot from the ECC, which I was really excited about. Now, I know he wasn't selling that well, so there's probably a lot of stores that still had them. But that was the one I wanted the most. And I did not pick up any pops from that convention when they came out. Because at the time, I just I wasn't able to afford them. So I was really happy to pick that one up. Very awesome. Okay, next, let's see. We have one little random box of pops, and it looks like a video game. All right, so let's see what we got in here. Okay, so we have Kylo Ren from Last Jedi. I have that one, so I'll be selling that one. Uh, the box is a little beat up, so I'll probably sell for a dollar or two under the market value. This is really cool. We have a preview to exclusive glow in the dark swamp thing. I believe I have that version. I have three different swamp things, and I think there's only three, but just in case there's a fourth one. I might be keeping it, but I'm pretty sure that one's going to be for sale. Okay, and then we have a Popeye Specialty Series. This one, uh, the box is a little bit dirty, so I'm going to have to clean that up. But I don't have that one, so I'm going to be keeping that one. Uh, actually, really cool. I like Popeye. Popeye's cool. And then we have the uh, Brenner from Stranger Things. I, If I remember correctly, I think I didn't give him too much. I, actually, I gave him $5 store credit, not cash, just because the box is really beat up. I might even give him $6 store credit. But I didn't have this one, so I'm actually happy to have that one. And we have Halo 4 for the Xbox 360, brand new unopened, which I, I believe I have a copy already. So I will be selling that. I'm uh, The value's probably got down since I bought it. I probably shouldn't have had it sitting in here for months, but that's okay. <laughs> I really like doing hauls and doing videos for you guys. So a lot of stuff I sometimes hold on to to do a video and it sits around for a while. So it's... It's a little difficult because I do want to sell things in my store, but I also like to make videos. So I have to kind of juggle what I put in the store, what I hold back to make videos and whatnot. Uh, okay, this is cool. Oops, let's put the runner down. So this was the Harry Potter Hogwarts Express Engine. 
I uh, I got this in a mega haul that I did a month or two ago from a guy named David. It was the I traded for 30 Funko Pops or something like that. And this was also in that collection, and I totally forgot that. So thanks again, David. I appreciate the trade. He, and if you guys want to know, he ended up getting a lot of the Big Bang Theory pops I got a month or two ago. So I think he was really happy to trade cheaper commons and get kind of faulted pops. So it was good. I was happy as well. Okay, next we have a box of four pops that someone traded in uh, a month or two ago. I really forget. I think I bought them. I paid 4 or $5 a piece for them. I don't think it was a store. Some people like to trade for store credit. They get more. Sometimes they just want to sell them. Uh, okay, so we have an Unmasked Gwenpool. Definitely have that one. That one seems to be pretty common. I'm getting it in a lot of collections. Uh, so I'll be selling that one. We got Pickle Rick. I don't have this one yet, so I'm actually happy to have that one. That one's cool. I need to get a lot of the Rick and Morty Pops. Uh, next, Oh, this is cool. Okay, now I remember. I think I gave him a full $15 store credit or $10 cash for this. But it was a Padme from the ECC convention exclusives. Actually, really happy to have that. I forgot that I got that one. That one's cool. Okay, and then uh, oh, and then we have a Fun Time Freddy Chase. Okay, the, these I definitely paid more for. That one again, I think I probably gave him fifteen or twenty dollars store credit, or maybe like ten dollars cash. So that's really cool. I didn't, I didn't realize I had chases and exclusives in there. <laughs> uh, cleaning up the office time. Cleaning up the office time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a box I got on eBay a month or two ago. It's not a Funko Pop. All right, let me move that down. It was a Funko item, though. I decided I wanted to get some of the original Wacky Wobblers that were limited to San Diego Comic-Con. So this is limited to 480 pieces. It came out in 2008, so it's for the first Iron Man movie. It was $15 shipped. I think that's a great price. I feel like the Wacky Wobblers... If this is a Funko Pop from, like, 2012, limited to 480, people would probably be paying, like, $400 for it. Or at least, like, 100 or two. But people don't like the Wacky Wilders that much. So I think these are a good value because they're super limited, 480 pieces, and super cheap. So I, I'm i happy to pick that up. I think I'm going to be looking for other Comic-Con Wacky Wilders. Just anything that's super limited. Okay, next we have a little collection of toys. I think I paid around $40 to $50 for this. Uh, again, this is a few months ago. I kind of don't remember what was in it. See, what happens is when I buy the big giant collections, it's easy to do a video because it's, you know, a big mega haul. But when I buy the smaller collections, I usually think, all right, I'm going to wait till I have a couple and then they get lost or put to the side. So now I'm just trying to catch up on all this stuff. Okay, so we have uh, Parsifal from Ready Player One. This is cool. I don't think I had that one yet. I only had a couple exclusives and I, I love the book. The movie was good. I like the movie, but the book I really love. So I really want these pops. I need to get the rest of them. Okay, and then we have a Halo Master Chief figure with Cloak. Take that down. I mean, he's pretty cool. He's a McFarlane toy. Lots of details. Uh, I'll probably be selling that one, though. I'm not sure exactly what they're worth, but I'll have to look up and kind of get the value. And then we had a Star Wars X-Wing fighter. I believe I have this one already, so I'll be selling that. I like these, though. I like the die-cast ships. Those are cool. Okay, we have from Story Shortcake, Lemon Meringue. A box in good shape. It's a little dirty, so I'm going to have to clean that up. But that's cool. I have that one already, so I'll be selling that one. Uh, oh, we have a Joker. This is a cool pop. I like that pop. I have it already, though, so I'll be selling that one. But still, I like the way it looks. He's cool. And then we have the... Oh, this is cool. We have the Gnap Smurf. He's like the evil purple one. I don't think I have this one, although the box has like a lot of water damage right there. So I'm not 100% sure. I might keep it for now just as a placeholder. And then upgrade it when I find one later. And if I were to sell it, I usually sell the ones in that kind of damage for like $7. Okay, this is cool. Next we have a Crash Bandicoot Dr. Neo Cortex. That is really cool. I don't have that one, so I will be keeping that one. And then the last one from this collection is a C2B5. I don't remember if I ever got this one. I might have it, but I'm not 100% sure. If I have it, though, I will be selling it. Okay, so that's that mini collection. And that's been sitting next to my desk since like April, so <laughs> just goes to show. Okay, and then next we have a, this was an eBay lot I bought in April or May. I paid, I think, $45 for the lot. I think it was around $5 a pop. I basically, again, I, every once in a while I like to do that. I like to look for cool lots on eBay for a good price just to show you guys that, yes, you can find stuff on eBay. 
I know a lot of you guys think I just get stuff through my store and that it's where I get all my deals. But the thing is, on eBay, you can sometimes find deals that are just as good, if not better. So that's why I bought this lot, but it was only like, I think it was only like nine pops. So I didn't do a separate video for it. So now I'm adding it to this video. <laughs> and I haven't really, I just opened it up just to check inside real quick, but I didn't really pull anything out. So I kind of forget what was in this lot. I think it was a lot that had interesting things in it. It wasn't stuff that I needed per se, but it was stuff that I thought I could put in my store and at least double my money. So sometimes I do that. I'll just buy something that the price is really good. I think there might've been one pop I needed. Okay. Oh, and this was it. We have the fall exclusive Batman 8-bit Batman, which I don't think I ever picked that one up during the New York Comic Con. So that's cool. That one I'll actually keep in paying $5 for. It was actually a really good price. Uh, oh, I didn't have this one either. Okay. We have Oscar the Grouch. The box is a little bit damaged, though. So $5 is probably... It's, it's still a good price. Still happy with that, actually. So I'll be keeping Oscar the Grouch as well. And, uh, oh, this is cool. We have the Loot Crate Joker Batman. Pretty sure I have that one. So I'll be putting that one into my shop. And, oh, we have the Barge Noble Exclusive Killer Croc. I don't remember. I think that was the one that came in a... Like a mystery box with a couple other items. I don't know if I ever got that one. That I'll have to double check. If I don't have it, I'm definitely keeping it though. He looks cool. Uh, oh, this is cool. Okay, we have Beetlejuice. He's from the like the horror mystery boxes that came out a couple years ago. He definitely, I can get like $15 to $20 out of him. So that's really cool. Definitely a very easy pop to sell. Uh, oh, okay. And then we have the Power Armor. This was from a Black Friday box from a couple years ago. That one's cool. I don't know if it has too much value. It might still be like a $10 to $12 pop. But still very cool. I have that one, so it'll be for sale. Uh, oh, this is cool. Okay, we have the Fallout Vault Boy. For a while there, I think these were kind of cheap. But I think he's starting to go up in value. I have to double check. It might be him or it might have been... I think there was a mystery box with him in it. So I forget which one, but I noticed a couple of them were going up in value. So that's cool. I don't think I have that one. Oh, this is cool. Okay, we have the New York... Comic-Con Cthulhu with this patina look. That is really cool. I love that pop. I have that one already. I think I could probably get like $20 out of that one. So that one is really cool, actually. So that's it. I just, I thought uh, this lot, buying a lot on eBay for $5 a piece with stuff like this and the Cthulhu, those are great pops to get for that price. I also, I think I bought these before April 16th. Because right before taxes are due, a lot of people stop buying for a few weeks. So that's a, a good time to look. And right now, if you want to look for some good deals on eBay, is a good time as well. Because right before Comic-Con, less people are buying because they're saving up for Comic-Con. Or they're going on summer vacation. And on top of that, there's more people selling stuff to try to make money for Comic-Con. So with more supply and less demand, prices are really good. So I'm actually finding a couple deals myself. And I would say if you want to buy a lot on eBay... Look now, you're going to find some deals. Oops, that's everything in that collection. Super happy with that. <laughs> Sometimes I worry on these collections that take so long that there'll be a problem and it'll be too late to get a refund on eBay. <laughs> he is cool. I love that pop. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to show you today is this Funko Shop pop. One of the few that I actually was able to get. And one I really wanted, so this is awesome. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we have Nux from Mad Max Fury Road. He's a Funko Shop exclusive. I got him a couple months ago. I'm so happy to have him. I really want to finish my Mad Max set. I think I only have a couple of them so far. So definitely, I'm hoping to find a collection where someone collected most of them. But when you see a Funko Shop pop for a regular price and you're able to order it, you almost should always jump on them. Even if it's something you don't want that much, it's almost worth just getting them just because the value usually jumps on these and... You can trade them or sell them. Okay, let's see. In this video, the my favorites are definitely the Padme. I was so happy to get that one. The Nux. This one's super cool. Happy to get that one. And definitely the two Saga Pops. These are super cool. I was so happy that they still had them in the shop. I don't get out the shop in stores as much as I would like to. So when I do go and I find what I'm looking for, I'm so happy. Because a lot of times you go and you don't find anything. So, that was a lot of fun. I want to thank my patrons for supporting me on my channel. With their support, I'm motivated to do more videos more often. If you want to help support my channel as well, I'll put a link to Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching my videos and you enjoyed watching me show you a whole bunch of Funko Pops, click the robot's face to subscribe. Why not? I like making Funko videos for you. 
And I'm going to put a couple other Funko Pop haul videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!